another beautiful still morning. Still as you like, no one here except us, the wonderful Skidore house. What a fabulous night stay, lived up to its reputation. Beautiful. Our penultimate day, and already we're talking about how we're regretting that it's coming to an end. It's been fantastic, it really has. It's just glorious this path, absolutely glorious. I cannot recommend enough the Cumbria Way. I'll do it again anytime, anytime. Okay, we'll see you out there. Onwards. From Skidor House, the Cumbria Way route offers you two options to get to Nether Row in Caldbeck. The first, known as the Low Route, turns northwest and heads between Bakestall to the west and Little Calver to the east. It then skirts Bassenthwaite and Overwater, avoiding all the Oldale and Caldbeck fells. This route to Nether Row is 11 miles in length and has over 3 miles of roadwork. The second is only eight miles to Nether Road, and it heads northeast and takes you via Lingy Hut over the Wainwright Fell of High Pike before dropping down into Nether Road. Then, whichever way you go, it is just a short walk of 1.3 miles from Nether Road into Coolbeck, and in our case, an extra mile to get us to Throssell Hall and our next camp, and this made that route a total of 10 miles. Now, when we looked at the two routes, we were surprised to find that the so-called low route had more total ascent and more total descent. So for us, it was a no-brainer. Less mileage, less ascent, less descent. And it was onwards, northeast. This is another cracking walk with fantastic weather and we meet some nice friends from the team en route and in the pub. We'd like you to come along too with us. Enjoy. Come across this beautiful sheepfold, basically perfect, except for this little hole. So, of course, in the of course, in the true spirit of uh, Fat Boys on Tour, while Dave is poking Chris's eye out with his poles, they're rebuilding the rebuilding the wall. Of course, Chris and Dave have been. A amateur dry stone wall repairist for many many years. And it just shows you that 
over those many, many years, they've learned absolutely nothing. We're on our way to High Pike, but we found this little sheep's enclosure that uh, David and myself have started to rebuild. We finished our side and Graham decided that uh, he was gonna go around and finish the job off from his side. <laughs> lovely dove, lovely job guys. This is our route through the gorse, following the Cumbria way through to uh, High Pike. Okay, we're two and a half miles in after leaving Skidore House, heading towards High Pike now. You can just make out Skidore House in the background there, underneath some of the larger northern fells. We're cracking on. We've got Chris and I think Leona meeting us, and we're on the drag, unfortunately. That's the trouble when you get into a nice place like Skidore House. You don't want to leave it. But we got away at quarter past nine. I think he will have enough time. But the terrain, though dry, is quite cobbly. So it's, it's been quite heavy going. But we're getting there. Time is coming up to 25 past 10 on the 18th. Our penultimate day. Heat haze up there. You see it? No, on, on the path. Here we are, a remarkable mine, if you don't believe me, a most remarkable mine. Hey, Chris has remarked on how the floor is glistening, you can see all the quartz or whatever it is, we'll have a read of it in a minute, but it's looking lovely. Old mine. Incredible. I mean, we've got the signs of quartz and alluvial deposits from no. how old? Ah, uh, well, tungsten, uh, is it? going back to prehistoric times? Mm, mm, maybe. Is it tungsten? No. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it, David? Well, I think it's uh, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> onwards, onwards, we're on the drag again, late.
beautiful sound of the running water. our day is about is meeting the guys, the guys who give inspiration to do these wearing rights and became really good friends with them. The power of Facebook and YouTube. That's, that, this is a 3x3 DD tarp, it's a bit bigger. Here's the guys on the Cumbrian Way, three quarters of the way. They've got to get to the other side to Coldbeck to uh, to meet Claire, who's been their Sherpa. Claire Harvey, she's been on quite a few of our videos. So uh, um, yeah, they've spent the night in Skidor House. So we're uh, completely remote, the uh, highest uh, youth hostel in England. That one. So uh, there they are. Pike done and dusted, another one for Chris, which he's very pleased about. Uh, we're just taking a break in the shelter at High Pike before we take that path and a lovely route down into Colbeck. There's been a slog coming up to here, that bit from the valley bridge, no real path as such. And walking alongside that bank, that's hard going. So you need to prepare yourselves for that when you do it, if you do the high route. But it's worth it, because you get up here, and the lovely views. Sitting in this shelter out of the wind, that's right. Very nice. Sky like singing away. Lovely enjoying itself up there. Trying for business.
One minute we're walking over State Pass and the next minute we're in the middle of a cow field. Well, here we are with Dave Galloway, busy chatting up other people's wives as usual. We're getting, we're getting a lovely lift from David Dyer and his lovely wife. Put her down, Galloway. And there's Chris Blake. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> he can't get it in, apparently. The story of his life, old Galloway. <laughs> anyway, uh, we finished our odd fellows drink and it was all right. Anyway, you're not strapped in. <laughs> I'm not strapped in, apparently. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, so many rules and regulations. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Make sure you look out for the other six in the series, showing all the legs all the way to Carlisle. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube website, all 214 Wainwrights captured in video, as well as the outlying fells and various other walks. As always, hopefully one day, we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.